Hi dear students, how are you doing? Is everyone fine? I'm sure you're doing great. Uh, as you all know that today we are in the last part of the sentence uh, to change from direct speech into indirect speech. And uh, as you know that uh, we also had a bit discussion about the statement uh, and collaborate program. So today I'm going to teach that thoroughly uh, so that you solve your problems and so that you avoid any confusion you have. Well guys, uh, today is actually the sentence which is the easiest to change it from direct speech into indirect speech uh, because in this sentence we are not going to change the tenses but we will only consider the pronouns. See, in direct and indirect speech uh, tenses and pronouns play major roles. So here we don't need to change the tenses but we only change the pronouns. So let's start. Imperative sentence uh, is quite simple as I said earlier. Imperative sentence is a sentence that expresses order, command, request, advice, suggestion, instruction, direction, warning, and so on. So uh, to change that from direct speech into indirect speech, we have to consider these five rules. And these are quite simple and straightforward. So the first rule is that reporting verb, reporting verb change into request, order, suggest, advice, warn and instruct or direct instruct or direct so this is the first rule you might be wondering that how we are changing one reporting verb into many verbs we can change one reporting verb into many of these verbs actually we will consider the sense of the sentence for example if I say please open the door. So from the meaning, what it expresses? It expresses request. So then you will change reporting verb into request. If I say, come on time, what is it? It's actually in order. So now you will change reporting verb into order. If I tell you, go straight to Shidanu Chowk, so see, I'm actually directing someone to go there. So then I will change reporting verb into direct or instruct. So it depends on sense of the sentence. Second rule, as uh, like an interrogative sentence, an imperative sentence, we don't use that. So here, it shouldn't be used either. Third rule, reported verb starts with two. Reported verb. See, inside the inverted commas, that is reported verb. So here, reported verb will start with two. In other words, it forms infinitive. You know, infinitive is two plus one. For example, to study, to eat, to drink, to sit, to stand, and so on. Fourth, please, let's, in do. Do a negative imperative. We have positive imperative like come to the class. And negative imperative don't come to the class late. So in negative do is also deleted. So these words are deleted when you change imperative to indirect speech. Finally exclamation mark. Exclamation mark change into full stop. Now let's prove all these rules upon this example. Some are implemented and some will be implemented in upcoming practice. So here is an example. Ahmad said, close the window. See, this sentence expresses command or order. It's an order. Close the window. So then we are going to change 
this reporting verb into ordered. Ahmad ordered. Second, that shouldn't be used. See, we don't have any that. Third, reported verb starts with two. This is our reporting verb. Now, you can simply see it started with two, which forms infinitive. To close the window. See, we did not change the tense. So here, we don't change the tense. And we don't have any pronoun to change. But in other examples, we will have pronouns. Now, let's practice more. Look at these sentences. My father said, respect your teacher. So what do you think? What does it express? Think about the sense and logic of the sentence. So from the sense and thought of the sentence, it expresses advice. My father is advising me to respect the teacher. So now, how can we change it? First rule, reporting verb change into advice, because it expresses advice. My father advised remember to write it with s because c is noun form my father advised now second rule that cannot be used third rule we should begin reported verb with two to respect now we need to change the pronoun it is second person so second person changed to the object. If you remember, uh, we studied earlier that when there is no object in reporting speech, then our object is me, M-E. So here, me, consider we have me here. Now, we have to find the possessive adjective, possessive adjective form of me, which is my, to respect my teacher. See, my father advised to respect my teacher. We did not change the tense. Next example, Umar told me, go straight and turn left. What does it show? It certainly shows direction. So we will change reporting verb into direction. Umar directed or instructed. Direct it, me, reporting verb begins with to. To go straight and turn on left. The rest is the same. And turn left. Moving on to the next example. He said, don't come late to the class. See, it's a direct command. Don't come late to the class. In that case, we will change reporting verb into command. He commanded, or he ordered. He commanded. Now we studied that do, does, uh, we studied that please, let's, and do must be deleted. In this sentence, since this is negative, so we will omit do. What remains here? Not. So we will write not, not, reported verb starts with to, come, late, and the rest of the sentence is the same. Final example, the teacher said to me, please open your book. Let's change this example. First, what is the sense of the sentence? It's a request. How would you know that this is a request? You know, a request usually starts with please. Suggestion starts with let's, right? Command or sometimes warning. They start with don't. So these are some clue words so that you can differentiate between some of the senses. Now, the teacher, since this is request, the teacher requested, requested me 
we should omit this word because this is in the rule. The teacher requested me, we should begin reported verb with to. To open. Now, we got a person. You are second person. Second person changed to the object. And luckily here, we have the object now that is me. Now, this is possessive adjective case and this is objective case. We will try to find the possessive adjective of me, which is my. To open my book. So that was the last example. That way you can change every type of sentence from direct speech into indirect speech according to the rules. Particularly in imperatives, we have to consider these five rules. So uh, that is all for today. Thank you so much. Uh, inshallah, we'll be in contact if you have any further problems. Thank you.